that one's pretty significant because it, it happens during the event itself, the, the event that led to her death. And um, so he wrote something or whoever wrote it, wrote it and decided in their mind, oh, I can't let the reader know that. I don't want, there's something there I wrote that I don't want them to know. And so they cross it out. They he scribbled it out so dark. There's just, there's just no way of determining what that is. They really did not want the person reading it to know what they wrote there. So yeah. um, again, the subconscious is really writing the statement. And when they realize that they've been betrayed by their subconscious, they edit it. Yeah, but it's already on paper. All they can do is scribble it out. So I pay really close attention to what's happening where there's corrections. Corrections equal deception is present. You seem to have had a field day on this uh, eight-page notebook, uh, Lieutenant. There was a lot in there that was uh, wreaking deception and, and so forth, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could go on for hours on this one. Yeah. Wow. Uh, there is, it's it's one amazing other, that we don't get to hear. One you know, other feature know. I just want to bring out. Sure. And that is that um, I had, was asking myself, who is he writing or who is the person writing this statement to? And he starts out writing it to Gabby, and he's talking to her um, uh, allegedly. And then suddenly it jumps to um, he in line seven. He says, "If you were reading Gab's journal," uh, and talks about he goes from talking to her to talking to some unknown reader. I guess he jumps back and forth in the story between addressing her and addressing the reader. But one really um, odd thing is that he he tells the reader in line 14 do not make this harder uh for them and he's it's like well who's who's this directed to he, instead of leaving um yeah we let's put it this way he talks to gabby who's dead he talks to the reader whoever that is and he talks about about his family he talks about her family but he never talks to them Right. It's always yeah, it's weird because in line 14 it says to my nephews, please do not make this harder for them. Yeah. Uh, well, he says I, I, I she'd be at a new daughter to my mother and aunt to my nephews, period. Right. Then he says, "Please don't make this harder on them." So, who is he talking to? He's talking to the reader, but who he doesn't talk to is his family or her family. Um right. he talks about them but not to them. And that's unusual and that there's um I've done a lot of research into suicide notes, and um, uh, there's a lot of personal comments made in suicide notes. Um, and um, although this does demonstrate a lot of the characteristics of a legitimate suicide note, there's some things that are kind of outside the norm. 